Good day, students. Let's look at some more problems in this session. Find the effective resistance and the supply current to the circuit of figure 1.15. Note down figure 1.15. You have three resistances, R1, R2, R3, respectively having values of 8 ohm, 6 ohm, and 4 ohm. The total supply current is just given as I. We need to find that out. And the supply voltage is 12 volts. You can see that the three resistances are connected in parallel. We know that for a parallel circuit, we take the reciprocals of the resistances to find the effective resistance. So 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3, which is nothing but 1 by 8 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4. You get 0.125 plus 0.166 plus 0.25 and that gives you a total of 0.541. Remember that this is 1 by R. So resistance R is equal to 1 divided by 0.541 which gives you 1.85 ohm. This is the first part of your answer that is the effective resistance of the circuit. We still need to find out the supply current. We know that I is equal to V by R, which is 12 divided by 1.85, which gives you 6.49 amperes. So you can note down the second part of the answer. The current I is equal to 6.49 amperes. Let's move on to another problem. Problem 1.7. A current of 10 ampere is divided between two resistors in the circuit of figure 1.16. Note down figure 1.16. Find the current in each of the two resistors. So this is a slightly different type of problem. The current, the supply current is given, 10 amps. The supply voltage is not given. But the resistances are given as R1 and R2, both as 2 ohms. And you can see that you can take the currents also with the same numbers, I1 and I2 respectively. We need to find out the current without voltage. So you will also find out a new way of finding a current without the voltage also, it's possible. We know that. I1 is equal to I into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. You learned this formula. It was a special type of circuit when there were only two resistances in parallel. So I1 is equal to 10 whole thing into 2 divided by 2 plus 2. Calculating it, we get 5 amperes. Now I2 equals I minus I1 you know that currents are added at a node. So we get I is equal to I1 plus I2 and rearranging we can say I2 equals I minus I1. Therefore, 10 minus 5 equals 5 amps. Both I1 and I2 have the same ampere current, which means that equal resistances share the supply current equally. You can note this down. This is also a very nice trick for applications and problems to come.